Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How to Do, and in this video, I'm really excited because I'm going to show you guys how to make a multiplayer game uh, for Android in which you can play with your friends via, via Wi Fi as well as you know, global like over internet. Like, you can play with your friends over internet, like, your friend is in different country and you are in different country, then even then, you will be able to play. Uh, with your friend multiplayer and then uh, if you are on the same Wi-Fi then you will be able to play with the LAN alright uh, so let me just quickly show you guys how it looks like so let's say these are three Android devices alright this is one this is two and this is three there are three different Android devices on same Wi-Fi let's say same Wi-Fi alright and let me just go ahead and uh, host the LAN so there we go now we have the car over here and of course the graphics are not as cool as they should be but you know it's just a test so i can uh, move and then i can join this lan host so lan client and there we go all right so there is another car over here and it also moves over here which means it's a perfect multiplayer all right and then again i'm gonna go ahead and join it from here and there's the third car and i can move it and it's moving in both of them without any lag and yeah and i can also crash between them should also give the information over there you can see it's also crashing over there same like that so that is pretty pretty cool right so yeah let's learn how to do it cool <laughs> okay so i can quit and as you can see uh, th this was the host so uh, these two also uh, went down and the tire marks are still over there cool right so I'm gonna close these two there we go close it and then I'm gonna take out my unity and duck my game inside over here okay so let's go to the test scene there we go this is our test scene without anything in here just I have a main camera and a directional light and some post processing and a plane all right so it looks something like this cool now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, first thing what you need to do is we need to go ahead and say uh, right click and create an empty object and I'm gonna call it network manager network manager Manager, I guess. Manager, come on. Oh, it doesn't matter anything. Okay, fuck you. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and reset the transform so that it's right in center of it. Uh, there we go. And what you have to do is next you have to go ahead and say add component. And you have to say network manager. There we have it network manager also what you have to do is you have to add component and network manager hud all right do that and now when we play the game it should give us something at least at least there we go as you can see we can see the same thing that we saw in the uh in the previous game but we can land the host and nothing actually happens why because there is no player prefab in here all right um, so we, we have to do something with that so what we have to do is now we have to go ahead and make a player so I'm gonna go ahead and make a simple player right now but we will make it better uh, in the future videos so I'm gonna go ahead and add a cylinder let's say a cylinder and I'm gonna bring it over here maybe a little smaller something like that okay and I'm gonna go to my materials uh, materials add a material and this will be our player material so player I'll give it the material of uh, yellow or orange orange is yellow anything so there we go now we can see it and one thing I should do is I should go from our perspective to orthographic and then I can decrease the size to the same so that our perspective is orthographic all right cool looks good and now what we need to do is we need to uh, call it player I won't do any coding right now to make it move or something but yeah it will be our player let me just go ahead and make it a little bigger so that we can see it and cool I can also add a rigid body to it so that it falls and when we play now he should fall and there we go now he sits on it cool and i think uh, ok 
okay it's okay cool and now as you can see um, we can go ahead and say right click create folder and we can call it prefabs or it's already there so I don't have to do it it's already there so I'm gonna go ahead and drag in my player prefab so just like that in there so now my player is a prefab all right this is a prefab right over here so what we can do is and if we go to network manager we can see that there is a spawn info and it will spawn a player prefab so our player should be a prefab not a game object in the in the scene all right so how to make a prefab is that you have to go to your prefabs folder if you don't have it then you can just go ahead and create a prefab folder uh, create a prefab folder something like this so I have already one car over here but you don't need to have anything and then you have to just drag and drop your player inside of it like that all right so now this is our player prefab let me just go ahead and rename it to player it's not getting bad but okay it doesn't matter so now what we need to do is we need to go to our network manager and drag in our player prefab in there but it won't work it gives us an error so what is that error is that network manager player prefab must have a network identity so we don't have a network identity component on our player so we have to just go ahead and open the prefab and add component and I'm gonna call it network identity so there we go and when we just hit that we have two options one is server only and one is local player authority which you need to check this one because we need to just don't make it somewhere only because you know yeah that's that is that okay okay so when we come out and when we select our player you can see it also has the same component with the same settings because it is a prefab okay now when we go ahead and select our network manager and drag in our player prefab inside of it and there we go now we can see the player, player prefab inside of it cool uh, okay, so now we have the player prefab over here, so we don't need to be needed to be over here So we can just delete it simply and it still remains over there cool So now if we you can see that there's a no spawn info over here It's only random so it's gonna just spawn it on zero 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 So it does not I, I don't want it to be spawned at zero 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 So we need to have some kind of a spawn point So let's just go ahead and say right click create empty object and I'm gonna call it spawn point spawn point there we go and I'm gonna add component and make sure you say start network start position just that all right you don't need to have anything else just that and this one will be somewhere over here and make sure you yeah make sure you the uh, the the thing is up up from the ground because otherwise it may fall down something like that just to be uh, at, at the safe side just go ahead and make some points like that so I have three points or four points these are the four points and I'm gonna go ahead and make them look like something so I'm gonna just enable that from there and you can see one is there one is there one is there and one is there so I'm gonna go ahead and drag them inside of the network manager you don't have to do it but I'm gonna do it for you know clean up cleaning up the scene and now what you need to do is player spawn method should be not random it should be random or robin i need to do that all right cool so now if you play the game something should actually happen so if you play the game now you will see that there is that so we can host the land and there we go our player uh, spawns over there so if we uh, disconnect it and play it again the player spawns over here and again it spawns over here and this time it should spawn over here there we go so spawning is pretty awesome and yeah that is cool that is really really cool so now what we need to do is we need to test it out whether it's working or not so let's just go to file build settings and I'm gonna go to player settings and change the name a bit multi I don't know let me just check it out uh, where is it where is it I'm gonna check it out whether I have the okay it's called multi Alright, so I have on already I have the multi, so I don't want to override it. So I'm gonna call it multi test so that it does not override on it, right? Multi test. And I'm gonna go ahead and add open scene and I'm gonna delete the previous scenes because I don't need that. I just made it for the test. And this one is the one which we made right now. So let's just go ahead and say build and run. And I'm gonna select the folder. So now it's gonna build. 
and it will take some time so I'm gonna pause the video and uh, resume it when the when the thing is built all right so it is built and it's also starting to run so I have set it to 720 by 480 so there and I have already I also set it to windowed so that when we play it so it is it is a small window all right so we can see this one too so I'm gonna play it right now over here and this time I'm gonna host it from this guy so I'm gonna LAN host there we go we can see the player over there and when we join the client we can see both of them over there all right so both of them over there so that is that is working right cool but if I go ahead and say enable matchmaking and create an internet match and I click that and it's not working all right and if I do the same thing over here internet match it's not working like it is giving us something match client created and over here and in network manager and HUD and GUI and all that but it's not working right now we can find it we can find it but of course there is no match made so we cannot find it of course but we cannot create it so how do we do that because in order to play globally with the other players with different countries and different networks we would we should make it on the internet all right but it's not working so let me just go ahead and quickly uh, show you guys how to do that and then uh, we will be able to do that okay so if you go over here there is a cloud thing over here so let's just click that and it enables the uh, unity services you can also go to windows and find services I, over here i guess uh, i don't know i don't know i don't know there yeah i don't think so that you will be able to find the services over here but if you can you can find over here <laughs> but yeah this the simplest one over is over here services and you can see the last one is multiplayer so you have to click that one and it opens the multiplayer thing and it's gonna load it and please go to the link to configure the multiplayer settings to go to the dashboard all right so in order to see all of this you should be able to uh you should be uh, what is it called you'd be logged in all right so in order to do that you go to and go to account and sign in go to account and do that because i have already signed in as how to do okay so i have opened up this thing over here it has opened up this thing and it asks me new unity network uh, un new unity multiplayer configuration to enable multiplayer for this project for this project all right for this project make sure you do that for this project uh, please send the room size to each instance so the room size i want it to be like six you can set it to 20 anything and i'm gonna set it to six for now and it's gonna load and there we go now you can see it has set up this thing so our player is six cool so i will save it and when i come back and you don't need to do anything right just don't need to do anything you have to come to your multiplayer test and i'm gonna play it and i'm gonna play this one too i didn't change any setting all right i didn't change any setting so i'm gonna go to enable match and create an internet player and there we go we have an internet game and we can go to enable match over here and find internet match and there we go join match and its name is default let me just quickly show you guys uh, back to the main menu and I'm gonna create a match called uh, where is it instead of default I will set it to uh, like I will set it to my match it's called my match there we go and I'm gonna create it all right now now it's an internet game all right so if I come over here and find an internet game there is a my match game so I'm gonna join that match game and there we go now we are over there as you can see so that is working globally right so uh, I have already tested it out and it's quite nicely working like I have played it on a different PC so I have built this thing so what you have to do is you have to take this thing and move it to something somewhere else like in different PC or I don't know different PC and on different network and then when we uh, play it will work quite nicely right so it will join each other okay so yeah that is working so now you can play with your friends with uh, with the same Wi-Fi using LAN and you can play with it you globally using the internet matchmaking so that is it for today's video and in the next video I will show you guys how to make a you know the car game that I made right now over here how to sync in the information 
uh, of this guy where is it multi so how to sync in the and I think it should work with the matchmaking also so I can create a match there we go so now it's also working over there and a enable match and find a match and there we go there's a default match over there and in the next video I will show you guys how to sync in this kind of you know all these guys because this is difficult so uh, I'm gonna quickly show you guys what it actually means uh, like how is it working like is this guy over there also well the answer is no this guy over here is just a dummy all right so the movement of this guy uh, like the X Y and Z are values of float right so 0.1 let's say uh, he is on 0.1 on X he is 0 0.1 Y in uh, the 0.1 in the Y and 0.25 in the Z or, or something like coordinates like uh, this guy right so these guys so these guys are actually moving from the network like these values are moving from here to there and this is just a dummy which is actually just uh, copying the movement of this guy right? so this guy is not this guy he is just copying what this guy is doing <laughs> alright it's difficult but yeah alright so this guy is just a dummy and this guy is the real and he is copying all of the movement rotation and you know everything and he is copying that so uh, we can prove it by going in here and if I move it up he will come back snap to the same thing all right if I move over here over here it snap to the same thing because it's gonna just try to match the position of this guy as uh, accurately as possible and that is how we are moving this guy around. and same goes for this one so he is rotating and moving so this guy is also copying this guy's movement but of course no one cares about that he, uh, everyone plays the multiplayer game but no one cares about this how is it made he just wants to play the game bam there we go so of course it will be really really interesting thing and i have tried it on the android the best thing is that you can play it on android yeah uh, i have played it on android and the best thing the best thing is that we can join the computer uh, with the android so yeah i can join the uh, the android game i just made it right quickly show you guys this is the android game and i tested it on my uh, mobile phone and it worked with the PC so yeah that is cool so in the next video I will show you guys how to make this kind of a car movement system so how to sync all the transform and how to sync all the movements and yeah in order to learn that make sure you watch my videos and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video till then be cool